It is the stealth aircraft F-22 Raptor, stealth and firepower not to be underestimated. The F-22 fighter is one of the most advanced warplanes in the world, and the United States still refuses to sell it even to its closest allies. The first thing that distinguishes this fighter is that it is stealth, meaning that the radars of enemy countries are unable to detect it, and this gives it superiority over other fighters, as it can surprise enemy parties and strike them suddenly. It is superior to all stealth aircraft, whether Russian or Chinese, even the American F-35 entered service in 2005. And announced Washington's military distinction in the field of military aviation thanks to its dynamic performance and its unprecedented air combat capability. It is the opposite of American military aircraft. It was never designed for export. Because it is full of secret technology. And advanced production methodologies that America prefers to keep to become a leader. In stealth aviation technologies in the world. Especially since China and Russia seek to spy technology from time to time. So America decided not to grant it to any country other. Of the 750 planes that were scheduled to be produced, only 186 planes. And the last plane was delivered in 2012. How can an aircraft with such air superiority stop production so quickly? What's behind it? A Pentagon report revealed that the aircraft was unlucky in its production timing, as it entered service at a time when there was no organized enemy to fight and the Pentagon was spending trillions of dollars to eliminate terrorism. So the production of this aircraft was neglected due to its high cost and the long time frame for its maintenance as it costs $44,000 per flight hour and 30 hours of maintenance per flight hour. So Defense Secretary Robert Gates decided to stop its production. Have you ever wondered about the true capabilities of the F-22 Raptor, the world's first stealth fighter? This marvel of aviation technology not only dominates the skies with its speed and agility, but it also has tremendous power thanks to its advanced missile systems. Stealth Mode When operating in stealth mode, the F-22 Raptor can carry up to 6 AIM-120 AMRAAM, advanced medium-range air-to-air missile, missiles in its internal bays, designed to maintain its radar-evading appearance. Additionally, it can carry two short-range AIM-9 Sidewinders, ensuring it is ready to deal with multiple threats while remaining virtually undetectable. External Payload But that's not all. When stealth is less of a priority and firepower is paramount, the F-22 can also carry external missiles. It has the ability to carry four additional AIM-120 Amron missiles or a range of other air-to-ground munitions on its wings, greatly enhancing its combat versatility. The F-22 Raptor's combination of stealth and firepower ensures it remains the dominant force in air combat, ready to handle any mission with precision and lethality. The F-22 Raptor is an American twin-engine, radar-evading fighter aircraft developed and produced for the United States Air Force. The aircraft, part of the U.S. Air Force's Advanced Tactical Aircraft, ATF, program, was designed as an air superiority aircraft, but also included ground attack, electronic warfare, and signals intelligence capabilities. Most of the airframe and weapon systems were built by prime contractor Lockheed Martin, while program partner Boeing provided the wings, aft fuselage, instrument integration, and training systems. The first F-22 was delivered in December 2005, and although the USAF originally planned to buy a total of 750 aircraft and later scaled down to 381, the program was scaled back to just 195 aircraft, 187 of which were operational in 2009 due to political opposition over high costs.
lack of air missions at the time of production, and development of the more expensive and flexible F-35. Everything that fighter pilots, tacticians, and engineers learned about air combat in the last 50 years has been distilled into the F-22 Raptor, the Air Force's fighter for the 21st century. The lessons learned the hard way in Korea, Vietnam, and places like the Baca Valley of Lebanon the pricelessness of superior situational awareness and agility, shooting before being seen, fooling or eluding ground threats, reliability, speed is life, have been translated into about 34,000 pounds of titanium, aluminum, and wonder materials that fly like a dream. Super fast and maneuverable, stealthy, and providing its pilot with instantly comprehensible information about everything going on around him, the F-22 incorporates so many fighter firsts that it will be the benchmark of air combat power for at least a quarter century. Almost every year since the program's inception, however, the F-22 has been hounded by budget cutters in Congress and the Pentagon who question the Air Force's need for such a powerful fighter. Especially now, with defense budgets at near-historic post-war lows, critics hold the Raptor up as a prime example of an expensive program that doesn't know the Cold War is over, a case of technological overkill for the fighter threats that may pop up in the coming decade. The F-22 program has been cut, delayed, or restructured so many times in the last seven years that most observers have lost count. Originally pegged at a buy of 750 airplanes, the planned inventory slipped to 650, then 600, then 442, and now, with the Quadrennial Defense Review, 339, slightly more than three wings worth. As the buy has descended, unit cost has climbed, and some members of Congress worry that the F-22 may price itself out of existence. As Senator John Glenn, Democrat Ohio, recently remarked in a Senate Armed Services Committee hearing, we must be vigilant that the program not go the way of previous programs such as the B-2, where the sticker shock overwhelms the capability improvements. To underline the point, Congress has imposed a $40.9 billion program cost cap on the F-22, much as was done with the B-1B and B-2 programs. If the project exceeds the cap, the Air Force must fund the overage from other accounts. With the reduced buy, the Pentagon also cut the peak production rate of the F-22 from 48 per year to 36 a year, reduced the engine by from 1,027 to 777, and cut the initial production batch from 70 to 58 aircraft. The Air Force's next-generation air dominance fighter is facing fiscal headwinds and conceptual turbulence, with service leaders recently announcing a pause in the program designed to field a sixth-generation fighter to replace the F-22 Raptor. We are taking another look at the NGAD platform itself, and before we make the commitment that we're close to making, we want to make sure we get the right design concept there, Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall told reporters at the Royal International Air Tattoo Show in July. NGAD was conceived before a number of things happened, before the threat became so severe, before, collaborative combat aircraft, were introduced into the equation and before we got some of the issues with affordability that we're currently facing. So, we're going to take a hard look at NGAD before we move forward, he said. Now, the anticipated 2024 downselect of a vendor for the NGAD fighter is up in the air, as is what program funding the Air Force will request in the fiscal year 2026 budget it is currently developing. Thus, the Air Force's small fleet of F-22s is the main option for air dominance for the foreseeable future, a tall order for an aircraft that has persistently fallen short of mission-capable rates due to maintenance needs and parts shortages. Originally conceived and developed in the 1980s, the fifth-generation Raptor took flight in 1997 and reached initial operational capability in 2005. It set new standards for stealth, performance and lethality. While the aircraft has seen operational deployments in the Middle East, 
its full capabilities have yet to be tested in action, and to date its highest profile combat operation was shooting down a Chinese spy balloon off the coast of South Carolina last year. The original plan was to field 750 of the fifth generation fighters. However, in the mid aughts, with the United States embroiled in wars in Afghanistan and Iraq against adversaries with no air power, then Secretary of Defense Robert Gates pulled the eject lever on F-22, capping production at 195. The current F-22 fleet includes 149 Block 3035 combat-ready fighters and 32 early production Block 20 models the service wants to jettison. Congress blocked the Air Force's divestment requests in 2023 and 2024 and appears poised to do so again in the 2025 National Defense Authorization Act. While the Block 20 jets the service is seeking to divest are not combat ready, removing them from their role as training aircraft would have a ripple effect on readiness which the Government Accountability Office said in a June 2024 report the Air Force had not adequately analyzed. The Air Force did not document how it will conduct F-22 training or testing, the current Block 20 functions, without Block 20 aircraft. It also did not document the challenges that combat units may face if mission-ready Block 3035 aircraft are used for training or testing instead of Block 20S, GAO stated in the report, F-22 aircraft. Air Force needs to better document options before making critical decisions.